Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we want to share with you a special interview that happened recently when the applicant failed the interview two times. There are some common reasons for each time. Please watch the full video and see why she failed the interview two times. It will help you learn and get well prepared for your U.S. citizenship test. Good afternoon. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Good afternoon. What time is your appointment? It is 2.30 p.m. Please give me your USCIS appointment letter and ID. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Now you can come in. Thank you. Please remove everything in your pocket. Put all your belongings on a plastic tray and place it on the conveyor belt. Then walk through the metal detector for me. All right. Now, you walk to the second floor and check in at the front desk for your citizenship appointment. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Good afternoon. I have an appointment for the citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter and your driver's license? Yes, here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Please give me a few minutes. I will check your appointment on the system. Take your time. Thank you. All right, I found your information. Your interview room will be at door three. Please have a seat and wait to be called. Someone will call you in a moment. Thank you so much. You're welcome. P15, Mr. Benita? Yes, that's me. Hi, I'm Lisa Officer. I'll be conducting your naturalization interview today. Please follow me. Okay. How's your day going? It's going great, thank you. Now, I need to see your appointment letter, your green card, your ID, and all your passports, please. Yes, here they are. Thank you. You can put your belongings on the desk. Thank you. Please remain standing and raise your right hand. Now, I need to place you under oath. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Thank you. Are you feeling well right now? Yes, I feel good but still nervous. I'm trying to relax before the interview. Okay, 
Did you have any trouble getting here? No, I had no trouble. Who came here together? I came here today. Sorry, did you come here alone? No, I came here with my husband. How long have you resided here? About 30 minutes. What? How long have you lived in the U.S.? Oh, I am sorry. I have lived here for over five years. All right. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I love this country and I want to vote. Good. I need to take your picture and fingerprints right now. Can you place your right index finger on the scanner? Looks good. Now switch to your left index finger, please. All right. Can you look at the camera right here for me? Okay. Please don't smile, just maintain your neutral expression. Perfect. I will start with the English reading and writing test. Are you able to read the sentence on the tablet? Why do people come to America? Okay. Now I will say a sentence. Please write it down on the tablet for me. You can use a stylus pen. I'm sorry. Can I write it down on paper instead? I don't feel comfortable with the stylus pen. Okay, here is a paper. Please take whatever pen is in front of you. Thank you. People come to the United States to be free. People come to the United States to be free. I am sorry, officer. Can you repeat that again? Okay. People come to the United States to be free. Good. Now I will move on to the civics, history, and government test. Please do not hesitate to ask me to repeat the questions if you want. Sure. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day, Christmas. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Sorry, officer. Can you repeat this question? Okay. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What is an amendment? Sets up the government.
No, it's not correct. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Well, you got six questions correctly, so you pass the civics test. Thank you. I will review your N-400 application right away. How are you eligible for naturalization? Excuse me, officer. Can you repeat that, please? Okay. What is your basic eligibility to become a U.S. citizen? Oh. I have been a lawful permanent resident for over five years. What is your current legal name? Benita Rojas. Can you verify your first name? My first name is Benita. Please spell your first name. B E N I T A. Have you used any other name since birth? No, I haven't used any other name since I was born. Would you like to change your name? No, officer. What's your date of birth? January 22nd, 1970. What is your social security number? 677-32-6375. You got your green card through your daughter, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. What date did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on March 5th, 2017. I'm sorry. I made a mistake when filling out the day on N-400 application. Can you correct it for me? Okay, I will correct it right now. The date you became a permanent resident is March 5th, 2017. All right, it's corrected. Thank you. Were you born in Cuba? Yes, I was born in Cuba. Please tell me your phone number. 868-274-4274. Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. What is your email address? Benita. 1966 at gmail.com. All right. Where do you currently live? I currently live at 5613 Neelan Street, Houston, Texas, 770 um, 28. You live at this address from March 5th, 2017, is that correct? No, I live at this address from October 24th, 2021. Who lives with you? My son's family and my husband. What's your mailing address? 
Benita1966 at gmail.com. I want to know your mailing address, not email address. Oh, I am sorry. Is your mailing address the same as your current address? Yes, it is the same. Where did you live before this address? I lived in New Mexico before. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous right now. I cannot remember the full address. It's okay. Did you live at 7325 Dolce Road, Carlsbad, New Mexico, 88220? Yes, I lived this address before. All right. You lived at this address after you came to the U.S., is that correct? Yes, correct. Where else have you lived in the last five years? No, that's it. Have you ever been to the U.S. before getting your green card? No, officer. According to our record, you have been to the U.S. in July 2016 to travel. Sorry, officer, I am nervous, so I forgot it. Okay. Have you traveled outside the U.S. in the last five years? Yes, I have two trips outside the U.S. in the last five years. You said you only had two trips outside the U.S. in the last five years. Did you ever go to Mexico in 2019? No, I did not go to Mexico in 2019. Please listen carefully and remember if you went to Mexico in 2019. I didn't go to Mexico before. On our record, you left the U.S. on May 17th 2019 and returned on May 19th, 2019. I'm sorry, officer. I totally forgot. All right. When was the last trip? I left the U.S. on September 7th, 2023 and returned on October 4th, 2023. Where did you go on this trip? I went to Canada on my vacation. Now please tell me what you do for a living. I'm sorry. Uh, can you rephrase the question? Do you work? Yes, I do. Do you work at the Natural Gardener? Yes, I currently work at the Natural Gardener. How long have you been working there? Three years. Where else have you worked in the last five years? I worked at Golden Guy before. You worked there from May 2nd, 2017 to October 3rd, 2020. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Do you remember this company's address? Missouri City, Texas. I am sorry. I don't remember this full address. Okay. What is your marital status? 
I am married. When did you get married? I got married on May 14th, 1992. How many times have you been married? I've been married one time. What is the date of birth of your spouse? July 8th, 1967. How many times has your spouse been married? My husband has been married once. What is the immigration status for your spouse? He is a permanent resident. All right. How many children do you have? I had four children. Are all your children biological to you? Yes, they are. Where were they born? They were born in Cuba. Are all your children's U.S. citizen residents? Yes. Please listen to this question carefully. Sorry, officer. Can you repeat that slowly, please? Are all your children's U.S. residents? My son was a permanent resident and my three daughters were U.S. citizens. Okay. Do you have any adopted children? No, I don't have any adopted children. All right. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you got your green card? No. Um, sorry. Yes. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What is a mental institution? It means... Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot it. I'm so nervous. I don't know how to explain right now. All right. Do you pay your taxes on time every year? Yes, I pay taxes on time every year. Were you ever a member of a paramilitary unit? No. Have you ever supported the overthrow of the government of your home country by force or violence? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? No. Oh, sorry. Yes, officer. Have you ever worked in a detention facility? Sorry, officer. I, I didn't understand you. Can you rephrase the question? Have you ever worked in a place where people were forced to stay? No. 
Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials trying to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No, officer. Are you sure? Sure. According to our record, you got the ticket in 2018. You passed through a red light and paid $100. Oh, sorry, I forgot it. All right, I cannot approve your application today. You will have another chance for your interview. This is a notice of the result. Next time, please review your information carefully and practice speaking and listening English ability more. I know you were so nervous today, but you need to be well prepared for the next test. We will send you a schedule for the second interview. You should receive it within 90 days. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. I feel sad. All right. I will walk you back to the waiting area. You can leave now. Um, thank you. Good morning. I am Officer Robert. I'll be conducting your naturalization interview today. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good, thanks. Please follow me. Sure. Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, could you please raise your right hand to do the oath? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. Can I have your appointment notice, your green card, and state-issued ID? Sure, here they are. All right, do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, I don't have any questions. Great. How did you get here this morning? My daughter brought me here. Please tell me your full name. Benita Rojas. 
Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. Do you want to change your name legally? No, I don't. Please tell me your date of birth. January 22, 1970. What are the four last digits of your social security number? 677326375. Four last digits of your social security number? Sorry, officer. Uh, they are 6375. Who was the sponsor for your green card? My daughter. Do you remember what date your daughter became a U.S. citizen? I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Can you say that a bit slower? Okay. What date did your daughter become a U.S. citizen? Um, in 2012. I am sorry. I am nervous. So I only remember the year. Okay. How many years have you had your green card? About seven years. What is your country of origin? Cuba. What is your home address? 5613 Neyland Street, Houston, Texas, 77028. What was your advance address? Sorry. Officer, I didn't understand you. Can you rephrase the question? Okay. What is your previous address? 7325 Dolce Road, Carlsbad, New Mexico, 88220. Have you lived anywhere else during the last five years? No. That's it. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Hispanic. What is your job? I am a gardener. Where do you currently work? I currently work at Natural Gardener. What is your company's address? 8648 Old B Caves Road, Austin, Texas, 78735. How many trips have you taken outside the United States? Three trips. Were any of your trips for six months or more? No. Please tell me your second trip. I visited my relatives in Cuba on November 25th, 2023. Do you remember the date you returned to the U.S. on the second trip? Yes, I do. I returned to the U.S. on December 14th, 2023. All right. Are you currently married? Yes, I am. Do you have any prior husbands? No, I don't. What is your spouse's name? Onal Hernandez. What country is your spouse from? Cuba. What favorite foods does your husband like? Cuban sandwich and fried chicken. 
All right. Do you have any stepchildren or adopted children? I'm sorry. I didn't catch what you said. Can you say that a bit slower? No. Do you only have three children? Yes, I do. Are your children biological to you? Yes, I am. Where were your children born? They were born in Cuba. Do they currently live with you? No, I am only living with my son and my husband. My daughters live separately. All right. Have you ever told anyone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What is a mental institution? A place for people who have any mental problems. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Do you always file as a U.S. resident on your tax return since getting your green card? No. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. What does persecute mean? I understand, but I forgot how to explain. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? No. Oh, yes, officer. I am so nervous, so I am mistaken. Were you ever involved in a self-defense unit? I am sorry, officer. I didn't understand you. Can you rephrase the question? Okay. Have you ever joined a group that protects a community using weapons? No. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Do you always allow others to practice their religion? No. Have you ever joined a group that uses weapons and fights against the government? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison or jail? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes. Have you gotten a traffic ticket? Yes, officer. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? No. What is a rehabilitative program? 
I'm so nervous. I don't know how to explain right now. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you know what false is? It means it's not true. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is the oath of allegiance to the United States? It means, um... If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What is work of national importance? I'm sorry, I don't know. All right, I cannot approve your application today. Here are your test results. Oh, I cannot pass the interview. USCIS will send you a written decision about your application. You must apply your application again when you receive the USCIS mail and you will take full tests again. I am so sad. Do you have any questions at this time? Yes, when can I apply my application again? About two months. Please contact USCIS at that time if you don't receive any mail to register to test again. Thank you. Now I will walk you back to the waiting area. Thank you again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.